Hey guys, welcome to another practice question for uh, balancing equations. So today we're going to try to balance an equation where uh, there's a fraction somewhere in the equation. So uh, I guess the easy one to start off with is, uh, for example, x over 3 plus x over 6 equals uh, 12. Actually, let's make it uh, 20. Okay, so how do we solve for x? Well, the first thing we notice is that we have a lot of fractions here. And we don't really like fractions. So we want to try and get rid of the fraction somehow. And the first thing we notice is that there are two fractions. So uh, the first step that we can take, I guess, is to combine the fractions. Now, if you remember, you can combine fractions when the denominators are equal. So we're going to get the first fraction, and we're going to multiply both the top and the bottom numbers by 2. Okay, and then the left, uh, the rest, we're just going to uh, copy them down again. Now you might ask, why do we multiply them by 2? Well, uh, the reason for that is because, well, firstly, you are allowed to do that because it's a fraction. And a fraction will remain equal when you multiply both the top and the bottom by the same number. So we are allowed to do that. And secondly, after you have done that, then you end up with a fraction where the denominator, the number at the bottom, is 6. And that is the same as the fraction on the right. So we now have two fractions where the denominators are equal. And you know that when the denominators are equal, you can combine the fractions. So uh, six, 2x over 6 plus x over 6 becomes, so we merge them into one fraction. And the numbers at the top, the numerators, we just add them together right because there's a plus here equals 20 now take note that you can only merge fractions uh, for uh, adding and you can only merge fractions like this when it's adding or subtracting okay now 2x plus x is 3x uh, over 6 equals 20 so continuing from that, uh, 3x over 6, well, 3 over 6 is simplified down to uh, 1 over 2. Right, if you're not sure how I did that, you might need to go through the fractions tutorial. Okay, so x over 2 equals 20. Now we're going to multiply by 2 on both sides. So divided by 2 times 2 cancel each other out. So x equals 40. OK, so we have just done this question. Thanks for watching. See you next time.